Hey guys, welcome back. So today I have a what's in my makeup bag video, specifically travel edition, because I went out of town on a road trip, just like a weekend road trip with my husband this past weekend, and I kept everything in my makeup bag, the makeup bag that I took, which I will get into this bag. I've been using this bag for like a couple years for traveling, makeup travel purposes. And yeah, I'm gonna show you everything I packed, but I'm also gonna go over like what I used. And if there, there's a few items in here that I did pack that I did not end up using, so I'm gonna share that with you guys. So yeah, like I said, you guys, this is just what I packed for my weekend getaway. Uh, it is three days, or I did use it, the makeup for three days, so Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And you know what, it's probably, to some people, it's probably excessive and to other people it's probably like not enough <laughs> so it's not like this is not a strategic like how to pack like a minimalist packing video this is just I'm sharing with you guys what's in my makeup bag like the items that I that I believe to be like tr tried and true products that I know I can depend on them and I just don't want to experiment with uh, too many new things like when I'm on the road traveling I want to know like the products that I have with me are gonna work They're gonna perform and they're gonna be good stuff. All right, so let's get into it what I packed and everything So this bag is by Bagalini and I've had it I think for a couple of years now and I love it It's amazing. I think Bagalini has really quality bags, but the price point is really affordable I already have it unzipped just for ease of showing you guys, but it does just have here's kind of the profile it has this pocket here, which I did not pack anything in there this time. Um, not sure why, <laughs> but then it opens up like that. So it's really perfect for sitting on like the countertop at the hotel or whatever. And since I knew I was gonna be filming this video, since I got back in town, I basically just had this sitting out on my vanity and I've been like using like some stuff that's in there and just throwing it back in there. Anyway, it has these zipper um, plasticky plasticky compartments which I definitely need to wipe it down it's really easy to clean and wipe down with a, a damp cloth but honestly you guys I was running late when I was packing up on Sunday to leave so I kind of just threw everything in there and I do love this bag because it has these little like side pockets let me take that brush roll out you can kind of see everything's in there it's really easy to just like grab like see what you want and grab it and throw it back in there so you don't like clutter up the whole the whole hotel room countertop so what I try to do is just keep my more liquidy products like foundations in these little pockets so they sit up they sit upright like that you know anything that has a, a um, tendency or is maybe more prone to leaking and so yeah that is kind of the bird's eye view of that so let's get in to show you the makeup let me start with the brushes so I always just have this brush roll ready to go it's a travel size brush roll from Delium Tools I'm not gonna go into like every individual brush but this is actually their two of their travel sets together and I just have them all in one brush roll just really convenient so in no particular order I'm just gonna be like grabbing out of here and showing you guys what I have in the bag so the first things that I'm grabbing are two eyeshadow palettes that I packed I packed the new Too Faced peanut butter and jelly palette and I had not used it before I had just got it in like the day before I was going out of town so I did take that and I used this every day and I'm wearing it today as well and I just I love this it's great but I did just decide to take an old an old palette that I just do not show en enough love and I don't even know if I love it that much and it is the Urban Decay Naked One palette the original naked palette which looks like that and honestly the only color that I used was virgin as a highlight because this peanut butter palette doesn't have a shimmery highlight so that's all that I use I don't even know if I'm gonna hang on to this just because I honestly haven't used it in like a year what's the point of having it right so next I have a mini or travel size Mac fix plus which I definitely did get use out of I use it to not necessarily uh, set my face but to take away the powdery the powderness of the face if it got too powdery you know as you would do with the fix plus and also just like to refresh my face and then I also just threw this in I had not used it before and this is the pixie by Petra makeup fixing mist with rose water and green tea so I actually just used this a couple times like during my skincare routine um, not necessarily related to makeup but I did use it a couple times just to kind of spritz on and I, and I liked it it's nice and ref refreshing it has a really nice scent to it I do clean a beauty blender. I just like to make sure it's clean before I go and then I can get a couple of uses out of it. 
without cleaning it because ideally I do like to clean my beauty or my sponges every time I use them because it just kind of grosses me out but anyway uh yeah this is the main tool that I use to apply my my uh, foundation so I definitely got some use out of that so next I packed the hourglass ambient lighting powder palette which comes with these three here and I just threw this in there because I wanted to just dig in and use it because I honestly do not reach for this when I'm at home doing my makeup and I don't know why I think it's just because I haven't found the exact way that I like to use this that I prefer to use it but how I used it this weekend is I just kind of swirl these two lighter colors together to kind of set my whole face with and then I use this one as a bronzer actually just kind of around the outside perimeters of my face and it was very very beautiful very subtle but just perfect for like a more natural makeup day so I don't know what I feel about this palette I kind of regret purchasing it not that this is a video like a regrets video but I just don't use it as much as I should for the how much it cost and so let's grab some mascaras I brought two mascaras only which is very very minimal for me I did take my Lancome Hypno Hypnose Drama which has a brush like that and I've actually really liked this um I didn't think I liked it the first couple times I used it but it's almost one of those that gets better like as you continue to use it so I use that for my upper lashes and then for my lower lashes, I always bring my MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash because it's very long wear and it doesn't like smudge under my eyes. So I love those. And then for makeup prep, before I went in with my foundation, I did take my MAC Strobe Cream, which I just love. And then I took this little sample size of the Bobbi Brown Hydrating Eye Cream because I just have to prime... Even though I just had done my, you know, I wash my face in the morning and I do my skincare. I, before I go in with makeup, I have to hydrate again because I'm, I'm just that dry. So I did use the eye cream. And then for a primer, I just brought the Too Faced Hangover RX, which I thought would be perfect. And it was perfect for traveling because I get, I feel like I get extra dehydrated. And my face gets really, it just, you know, travel face. Basically, my skin can use all the hydration and extra oomph that it can possibly get. So the Hangover RX is nice because it's very um, satisfying and just adds like a little bit of moisture back into your skin. And then next I'm pulling out my bronzer that I took. This is just a tried and true. It's the Bobbi Brown Golden Light Number no. 1 bronzer. It's just beautiful. I'm wearing it today actually. You just can't go wrong and you know that it's going to be beautiful. So I love that. For blush I did take two which is not necessary but I did take more of a peach and a pink and I'm actually wearing both of these today. Um, on my face because like I said I was working out of this makeup bag had it on my vanity and I was working out of it when I got ready today so this is the hourglass ambient lighting blush and dim infusion which is like this really beautiful subdued peachy coral and I'm actually wearing that more so like on the backs of my cheek today see my baby hairs on fleek and then for my pink blush because I just wanted to have options like a peach and a pink you know I have my Mac <laughs> just a whisk just a wisp mineralized blush it's this beautiful pink in this you can almost like skip a highlight because it has a nice iridescent sheen to it so beautiful so that today I have on the apples of my cheeks and that's kind of how I actually wore them both all weekend so it worked out let's see so I do have uh, eyelash curler this is Bobbi Brown which I've been using and love it I just use that before I, I put on mascara for concealer I did pack two and I honestly only ended up using one. So the one I, I packed but I didn't use was the Makeup Forever HD. I've been actually switching back and forth between these two. This one is the NARS um, Creamy Concealer in Vanilla. And I just use this more. I don't know why. This is like a little mini size. So I didn't need to pack both, but I did. <laughs> the best tweezers in the world. The Anastasia Beverly Hills tweezers. It's always important to pack tweezers because when you get up in that hotel lighting you might see an extra hair that you didn't see before and I always forget tweezers so I was like really happy that I remembered to pack those so I definitely did use those and then some kind of eye products let's talk about the brow stuff that I packed I actually packed oops where are you okay so I packed the new ColourPop brow pencil this is the ColourPop brow pencil uh-huh and dope taupe I'm actually wearing this today as well and I use this I use this all weekend um, so yeah I didn't really need to pack this other one which was the Anastasia medium brown brow wiz I'm just trying to use it up because it's not really my perfect color anymore so I did not use the brow wiz but I packed it just in case 
I didn't like the ColourPop one because this was like the first time I was trying it out. For eyeliner, I did pack two and you know what? I did not end up using either of these because I was just lazy and I kept the eye looks just very minimal and just fast and easy. But I did pack two of my all-time favorites just because I know that they would have worked. They would have performed if I did use them. So I have the Marc Jacobs Highliner Gel Eyeliner, which is like a pencil crayon that I use on my lower waterline in the beautiful bronzy brown color called Rococo. And then my Cap on D Tattoo Liquid Liner in the color Trooper, which is like a black felt tip, which I love. So I know they would have worked, I just didn't happen to use them. And then I did take, for like a color corrector, my new Becca Backlight Targeted Color Corrector in the Papaya, the red shade. And I did use this. I've actually been using this every day that I wear makeup and I just, I really enjoy it. I think it's really, amazing for color correcting the under eye discoloration. For foundation, I'll do this first. I took two just because I wasn't sure what I wanted to use. I ended up using the NARS Sheer Glow every day. This is in the color Gobi. It's just so beautiful. It looks like skin, like my freckles still peek out, but it still, you know, makes my complexion look uniform. I just, you cannot go wrong. It's just such a beautiful foundation. And then I always like to travel with this just in case. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Light Stay in Place Makeup. I have mine in the shade Intensity 0.5. I love that it comes in a tube, but this is a more sheer to medium coverage. Mm, I don't even think you could really build it up to a full coverage, but it's so long wear because it's a double wear. So when I'm traveling and I know that I'm going to be putting on my makeup, usually early in the morning and being gone all day without a lot of touch up time, I love mixing this in with any other foundation that I might travel with because it really helps prolong like whatever other foundation you're using when you mix that in. And it comes in the tube so it doesn't break. It's great stuff. But I didn't end up using that. I just used the Nars Sheer Glow. And then last, I just packed this little deluxe size of the Laura Mercier Highlight 01. It's the matte radiance baked highlight which is basically just a very beautiful natural subtle highlight i love traveling with this little one i always travel with this because it just looks beautiful you can't go wrong with it and it isn't a mini size so if it breaks i'll still be really sad but i wouldn't be as devastated as if i were to pay like the full price for the full size you know what i'm saying all right guys so that is everything that i packed i think i did a really i think i did a really good job um I used pretty much everything, just a couple few items that I did pack that I did not end up using, but don't think I would have wanted to be without anything. I hope you guys enjoyed checking out what I packed in my makeup travel bag. Thanks as always for watching you guys. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!